up you guys I have for you another tutorial and this is gonna be a tutorial on five ways you can disintegrate or make yourself disappear in a clip oh by the way thank you guys for 500 subscribers that's amazing um, literally it only took a month to get 500 subscribers that is so good thank you guys so much for subscribing I hope you will stay tuned for more tutorials and let's try to get to 1000. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have two clips where you have the background and then you have yourself with the background. So my bottom layer is just the background. My top layer is me with the background and it's on a tripod so it's all steady and it doesn't move at all, which is what you need or else these disintegrations won't really work. So as you can see, my top layer if I turn the eye off, then you basically see the same image without me. For this clip, I want me to dissolve or disappear. So the first effect is going to be this block dissolve effect. So we're going to press Command Shift D to split our layer for where we want the disintegration to start. So we're going to press block dissolve um, digital. We're going to start at 100% and then press the keyframe button and then go a couple frames forward and then we're gonna make it go back to zero so now you can see that it has this cool block transition okay so for this next transition this is gonna be the pixel poly effect so what I'm gonna do is with my split layer where I want it to um, disappear I'm gonna go to the roto brush tool and then I'm just gonna mask out just me now this doesn't have to be very perfect because um, you can barely see uh, what you masked out because the dissolve kind of goes pretty fast unless you want the transition to go a little bit slower but I like it going faster so um, this doesn't have to be perfect at all. I'm just masking it so I make sure that you can still see all of my body. If I press the I button off for the bottom layer you can see that this is what we masked out. Now we're going to go to effects and presets and search up CC pixel poly and then we're going to drag that onto our first layer. And then I'm going to adjust the start time to where I can actually see the transition forming. And for this clip it starts at 12.3. I'm going to press the keyframe button and then I'm going to go a couple frames forward and then adjust the number so that it kind of disappears all the way before the end of the clip. So. For this clip, it disappears all the way at 9.4, and that's where I want it to fully disappear. But you can press U, and you can adjust the keyframes so it disappears. It takes longer to, dis to disappear. You can also play around with the shape of it. You can go to Polygon, Texture, Square, all that, and play around with the gravity and the force so that it um, goes up instead of going down. Now for this next disintegration, I saw the roto brush on my split layer, and I'm going to search up dissolve and blobs. Now as you can see, it does this like blob of changing the op opacity kind of, like it kind of just lightly disappears in different blobs. So, of course, you know the drill. We're going to go to the beginning of the clip, press the keyframe button, and have it at zero and then go to the middle of the clip and then make sure it goes to a hundred percent and you can press U and adjust the keyframe so that it goes a little bit slower so now onto our fourth disintegration effect I still have the rotor brush on my split layer I'm gonna go to Frex and presets and I have made my own preset for the TV glitch effect that I made a video on so I'm gonna link that video in the description where you can check out how to do this effect so I have this glitch effect already and to make it even look cooler so that I kind of disappears we're gonna adjust the position so let's press P and then press the keyframe button move a couple of frames forward and then just move the position randomly in different directions and keep making keyframes by going a couple frames forward and I do that by pressing command and the right arrow to go forward so now you can see it does this like shake around the um, screen and it's like it's like a cool little glitch now for our final disappearing effect we're gonna go to effects and presets and search up 
dissolve and vapor. So, you know the drill. We have that keyframe transition completion checked off, and then we're going to go to the beginning of the clip where we want the transition to start, and then go to 100%. And then go a couple frames forward and then press zero. So now it like sort of disappears and it's pretty cool. It's like you just plop. I don't know. It just like disappears into a blank space. I don't know. I think that's really cool. So yeah, those are my five disappearing effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, peace. Peace. <laughs>